ಅಗರ್ಥಾವ ಸಂಪೃಕ್ತೌ ಅಗರ್ಥ ಪ್ರತಿಪತ್ತೆ ಜಗತ ಪಿತರ ಒಂದೇ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಇವರಿಂದ ಶೂರ್ಪನ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಹಾ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠಾಭಿಗಮನಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ತೇನಾಪಿ ಅನಭಿನಂದಿತ ಸಾಭೂತ್ ರಾಮಾಶ್ರಯಭೂಯ ನದಿ ಇವ ಉಭಯ ಕೂಲ ಭಾಕ್ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠ ಅಭಿಗಮನಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಸೊ ಶೂರ್ಪನಕ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಡ್ ರಾಮ ಎನ್ ದೆನ್ ರಾಮ ಸೆಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮೈ ವೈಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೀ ಕಳತ್ರವಾನ್ ಅಹಂ ಬಾಲೆ ಕನೀಯಾಂ ಸಂ ಭಜಸ್ವಮಿ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮೈ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿ ರಿಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಹರ್ ಹಿ ರಿಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಶೂರ್ಪನಕ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠ ಅಭಿಗಮನಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ವ ಯು ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ Uh, I cannot accept you now. And Tena Abhi Anabhinandita, she was uh, rejected by Lakshmana also. So Sa Abhute Ramashraya Bhuyaha, she came back again to Rama. So she kept going back and forth like this and she resembled a Nadi Ubhaya Kula Bhak Iva. Just as a Nadi which uh, uh, keeps hitting one uh, a bank and the other. In the same way, Shurpanaka was also like, she was uh, like a river which, which keeps moving from one side to another okay now she becomes very angry samrambham maithili hasaha kshana saumyam ninayatam nivata stimitam velam chandrodaya eva udadhehe when she kept moving from this side and that side maithili uh, sita she started laughing to see her plight right uh, more than that i think she at that moment uh, uh, when she well, probably she heard the reasons of rejection and she she uh, started laughing which is just a swabhavikam there but maithili hasaha the laughter of maithili kshana saumyam tam kshana saumyam tam samrambham ninaya samrambham ninaya it uh, brought her to a samrambha agitated state so the literal meaning here is ninaya is nayati nayati ityatra ityase litlakaraha so samrambham ninaya it brought her to an agitated state so samrambha is an agitation sankrobham nayati iti so maithili hasaha the laughter of uh, sita brought her tam Uh, a great brought a great agitation to her so tam samrambham ninaya it's your main sentence how was she she was for a moment she was very calm kshana saumyam who had assumed a very calm appearance for just a moment saumya uh, means uh, calm so kshana saumyam for a moment uh, she was Uh, uh, b- very calm here kshana saumyam tam samrambham dinaya the second half of the shloka has a, an upama here uh, how so imagine she is like an ocean udadhehe vela she is like that you know there is an ocean there and it has a border the ocean does not cross the border at all uh, uh, let's say for a moment the ocean is very calm there is no wind also so nivata stimitam velam udadehe at a particular moment the ocean uh, uh, vela the ocean uh, the the feelings that is uh, just as how the feelings are kept at check for a moment in the same way the waters of the ocean are also kept at check by the vela vela here is the seema or the border of the ocean nivata stimitam velam udadhehe uh, uh, the ocean's uh, surface is you can also call it as the surface or the vela which is the border like the beach portion okay which is <coughs> nivata stimitam the the it is it is completely steady on account of no air nivata nirgatam vatam tena nivatena stimitam stimita atyutte sthagita vela so the vela is completely made nischalam because there is no air nivatena stimitam velam now what happens suddenly the moon rises when the moon rises there is a gravitational pull 
and the uh, waters immediately uh, attain a different uh, state right it is first initially very gentle and then with the rising of the moon it completely um, uh, um, agitates the surface of the ocean so just as how the ocean's mariada is crossed when the rise of the moon happens in the same way so moon is uh, white in color hasaha is also equated to white because of the teeth uh, that is seen when she smiles or laughs hasaha here is not smitam smitam is more like without teeth showing but hasaha is like a, a full blown laughter where the teeth are all showing so in kavi samaya we accept hasa as white in color so maithili hasaha the laughter of uh, sita is compared to chandrodaya chandrasya udaya the rising of the moon and udadehe stimita vela nivata stimita vela is khana saumya the sa shurpanaka these two are compared just the the border of the ocean which is stopped because of nivatam she is also very saumya very calm very graceful just for a moment that's all any time any small uh, uh, this thing could just make her erupt so here it was maithili hasaha is that clear hmm? so these two are being compared here it's a purnopama modya yeah. that uh, anger and all is red color right yes yeah uh, and the foam is white color huh Form. Form is also the... white. Yeah. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> I was just thinking whether there will be a comparison of the colors of the um, form of the waves versus uh, Shurpanaka's anger color. No, no, no. That is, the anger doesn't even feature here. That's all. So it is only the agitation that is there. Yatha chandrodayaha udadhehe velam sambrambham ninaya tatha maithili hasaha khana saumyam tam sambrambham ninaya the sambrambham ninaya becomes your common feature between the two there is a sambrambha there is a kshobha agitation in both the ocean and inside a shurpanaka so it is a comparison between the feelings that are there and there it is a physical kshobha here it is a, a, a manakshobha that's all maithili hasaha sitaya hasaha khana saumyam khana matra saumya akaram just for a moment she had a very graceful form appearance tam rakshasim nivata stimitam nivatena nischalam udadhehe velam samudrasya teera rekha so teeram is bank and the rekha is like an imaginary border that you uh, draw where every time the ocean comes and goes back it only goes to a certain point and goes back it does not cross that particular uh, line but when there is a high tide when there is a chandrodaya there is a gravitational pull and if it is a full moon then definitely it crosses that and uh, uh, goes higher than what it usually does so teera rekham Chandrodayaha iva sambrambham sankhrobham ninaya gamayati sma. Ah, so it, it makes the vela uh, um, into an agitated state. So the, this is actually the nijanta form of nayati. Hmm. Is that clear? Vata okay. bhavena nischalam velam Chandrodaya, Chandrodaya, Yatha, Krobhayati. Just as how Chandrodaya, the rise of the sun, Krobhayati, it agitates the uh, Nishchalam Velam, the uh, unmoving border, uh, Vata Abhavena, it is unmoving or it is not ruffled because of the absence of Vata wind. Tatha, in the same manner, Sita Yaha Hasaha, Krana Matram, Saumya Akaram Shurpanakam, Krobhayati. It also made her the kondalikkardu ngro liya tamil la correcta aduk word paathom na kondalikkardu ngro something that it's like boiling over for her i think most of the vikraha vakyas here are very simple kshana matra saumyam is just kshana saumyam is something it comes under that umbrella of kevala samasa or something like that okay 
the rest are all very simple now what does she say she next the moment her uh, uh, anger is uh, uh, coming to the fore she feels uh, aggravated then she talks to uh, maithili here phalamasya upahasasya sadya prapsyasi pashyamam mrigya paribhavo vyagriyam ityavehi tvaya kritam asya upahasasya phalam sadya prapsyasi you are immediately going to attain the uh, phalam fruit uh, result of your upahasa of your ridicule since you ridiculed me Uh, this is not something that's not going to come later or affect you later but you are going to get the fruit of this immediately sadya immediately not long prapsyasi you will attain pashyamam look at me this is just to show that ugratvam in her pashya mam pashya see look at me you know what you have done so she says she her her uh, uh, form is transformed right बिकॉज इति उक्त्वा मैथिलीं बर्तुरंके निविशतीं भयात रूपं शूर्पणका नाम्नः सदृशं प्रत्यपद्यत सो वी लुक एट दिस लास्ट लाइन एंड देन गो बैक टू द फर्स्ट लाइन द लास्ट लाइन इज शूर्पणका नाम्नः सदृशं रूपं प्रत्यपद्यत शी गॉट ए फॉर्म प्रत्यपद्यत शी अपटेंड ए फॉर्म रूपं व्हिच वाज नाम्नः सदृशं which was equal to her name or which was uh, 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 similar to her name what is her name shurpa nakha shurpa eva nakha ha yasya ha sa her nails are like a shurpa shurpa is shurpa karna we have heard right vinayakasya tu shurpa karna shurpa angirudhu morombo morathukku vandu english liyo matha language la enak solla therilla winnowing pan winnowing basket okay winnowing pan <laughs> <laughs> what will you say in your language you know a mora only in kannada ah Mo- mora ah okay. yeah so that is uh, shurpa so shurpa nakha her nails started growing and becoming like that uh, uh, big I- i'm sure she would have assumed a huge form i can accept that the ele- elephants have a long ear which resembles that mora illaya but uh, her nails becoming like that must mean that she took on a bigger huge form such that the nails look like uh, uh, were as big as that uh, uh, shurpa so shurpanaka namnah sadrsham roopam pratyapadyata so that is why as she was saying those words her form must have started don't take this ityuktva as after she said this Uh, um, uh, uh, sita went into her she she uh, uh, hugged rama and then shurpanaka there is no um, uh, uh, let's say there is no uh, the time in between all these events as she was saying as she was saying pashyamam her form slowly started changing and the moment she finished her uh, uh, speech she must have started growing even further and so maithili sita would have been very afraid and she went and hugged her husband and shurpanaka came to her true form so imagine it happening simultaneously as she was talking don't keep it as one event after the other because there is a kwa pratyaya and all that you should visualize it for you to understand how it must have happened okay asya upahasasya phalam sadya prapsasi you will immediately attain the fruit of uh, your laughter your ridicule pashyama mam pashya look at me mrigyaha paribhavah vyagriyam you must have been thinking of me as a normal woman like how you are khana saumyakara esha iti that is why you are laughing but i am not like that you may be a mrigi you may be a, a, a very soft dear but what you have done is like an insult offered to a tigress vyagriyam krutah paribhavah kasya ha paribhavah mrigya ha paribhavah you are after all like a deer and i am like a tigress if you have laughed at me it is like a deer insulting a tiger so you should understand the disparity in our forms and so she says pashyama look at me i understand that what you have done is uh, what a, a deer does to a tigress so mrigyaha paribhavah vyagriyam mrigyaha paribhavah 
iti twaya kritam avehi understand twaya kritam understand what you have done or this act of yours as an insult paribhavaha done by a mrigi a female deer to a vyagri so she talks of herself as a vyagri and her uh, sita as a mrigi so this is more like a what you have done is equal to uh, uh, what has been done to a vyagri so this is she she does not directly compare herself to a vyagri but she just says you have done you have insulted a tigress so she she doesn't tell herself but she just says the tigress right so then it is an alankara called atishayukti hmm is it clear so atishayukti is actually nigiri adhyavasanam where the upamanam uh, uh, upameya is completely swallowed and only the upamanam is said you understand so twaya kritam mrigyaha paribhavaha vyagryam iti avehi vyagryam is in seventh case here as if to say um, uh, uh, mayi but that mayi is not mentioned here shurpanakayam iti that that word is not mentioned here so the upameya is completely swallowed by the upamanam of tigress and only the tigress has been mentioned so it means we are actually looking at shurpanaka and saying you are a tigress so this is atishayukti here hmm? so palamasya upahasasya sadhya praapsyasi you will immediately get the phalam look at me mrigya paribhavah vyagryam iti twaya kritam avehi understand that whatever you have done is an insult that is done by a female deer to a tigress iti uktva saying thus maithilim bhartuhu anke मंजू Uh, a beautiful sound of a cuckoo to a, a harsh sound of a uh, uh, shrigali right uh, of a jackal so as it changed voice and as she was growing in her form to her original asuric form uh, 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 sita became very afraid of her and bhayat out of fear भर्तुहु अंके निविशतीम मैथिलीम इति उक्त्वा आफ्टर टॉकिंग टू मैथिली हु वाज स्लोली मूविंग इनटू हर हस्बैंड्स लैप भर्तुहु अंकम निविशतीम और अंके निविशतीम देयर आर टू थ्री रीडिंग्स इन दिस अनदर रीडिंग इज अंगानि निविशतीम इति सो वन हु इज एंटरिंग इनटू हिज अंगम दिस इज लिटरल मीनिंग इज निविशति इज ओनली Uh, uh entering but then you will have to take it as lakshanaaya alinganti bhavati iti so she is trying to hug him in such a manner she is so afraid even angani would fit anke is she sat on his lap or hugged him in such a manner that she was completely uh, uh, sitting on his lap or if you take angani then she didn't know where to hold on to him out of fear so she was trying to grab on to rama as much as possible so angani nivishati it was as if she was trying to hide wherever possible uh, uh, in his form so it etadrishim maithilim uktva so bhayat out of fear bhartuhu anke nivishati mannu was again her husband tam maithilim uktva after saying this shurpanaka namnaha sadrsham roopam pratyapadyata she assumed a form that agreed with her name shurpanaka okay asya upahasasya etat parihasasya any doubts no i was thinking if she truly taken a tigress form because she is in demon and she can take any form she wants right she can, uh, she can but if that was the case that was the case then she would it wouldn't have been namnaha sadrsham roopam the those tigers also have big long uh, tiger loss 
long class but they they uh, i would more assume that she took on a huge form as that of an asu asu where her nails were also looking like or chinna chinna moram madri irukku avludiya nagam vyagri cannot have that she did not take the form of a vyagri idla ramayanathil abadi illi asya upahasasya etat parihasasya phalam prayojanam sadhya sampratyeva immediately prapsesi mam pashya you will attain look at me tvaya kritam upahasa roopam karma tvaya kritam what is kritam upahasa roopam karma whatever you have done the work of ridiculing teasing or laughing vyagriyam shardooli vishaye mrigyaha mriga vadvaha kartriyaha mrigyaha paribhavah is the mrigi is the kartri here she is the karta she is the agent of the action of paribhavah insult so it is an insult of mrigi don't take it as an insult done to a mrigi in instead it is an insult done by the mrigi so it is her insult okay परिभव अनादर अवे जानी भर्त पत्यु अंके उत्संगे लाप भयात निविशती आलिंगन कुरती मैथिली सीता प्रति उधया उ हाविंग सेट इन द फॉलोइंग इन द इन द अर्लियर मैनर शूर्पण नाम स्वनाम सदृश रूप प्रत्यपद्यत प्राप्त सो सीतया अपहासे कृते अपहास उपहास परीहास ऑल थ्री मीन इनसल्ट और रिडिक्यूल टीजिंग नॉट मैलड टीजिंग बट रियली हर्टिंग समवन सो अपहासे कृते वेन सीता हेड इनसल्टेड हर शूर्पण का अतीव क्षुब्धा सती कनेक्टिंग विद अर्लियर श्लोक बीइंग वेरी एजिटेटेड रोषेण विद एंगर tam bhartsayanti she was threatening sita bhartuhu anke nilinam maithilim tam bhartsayanti she uh, threatened sita who was completely merged in the lap of her husband swanama uchita akaram shurpa akara nakha yuktam darshitavati she showed a form of hers which had nakham which were in the form of akara is form roopam in the form of a shurpa which was also very appropriate for her name okay so atishay yukti maithilin mithilayah iyam maithili okay one who belongs to mithila शूर्पाणी उपहास से सद प्राप्त पश्य मृग्या परिभव व्याघ्रियाहित मैथिली भर्तु अंके निविशती भयात रूप शूर्पण का नाम सदृश प्रत्यपद्यत नेक्स्ट इज नौ लक्ष्मण अंडर्स्टैंड दट दिस् समन एल्स लक्ष्मण प्रथम शुक्वा कोकिला मंजुवादिनी शिवा घोरस्वना पश्चात बुबुधे विकृता इति ताम लक्ष्मण लिसन फर्स्ट हर्ड हर वॉइस टू बी वेरी स्वीट कोकिला मंजुवादिनी प्रथम श्रुवा after hearing first the uh, 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 person uh, shurpanaka who was speaking vadini who was speaking very softly very sweetly manju manju is sweet like a kokila kokila iva manju vaktum or vaditum shila yes shilam shilam yes yes yaha so adane uh, ha manju वदती शील न यू कैन वदी शील आलो यू कैन टेक इट एस रईट शील अस्या मंजुवादिनी 
கோகிலாவத் மஞ்சுவாதினி கோகிலா மஞ்சுவாதினி கோகிலா மஞ்சுவாதினி ஒன் ஹூ வாஸ் ஸ்பீக்கிங் வெரி ஸ்வீட்லி லைக் எ ஃபீமேல் குக்கு பச்சாத் லேட்டர் ஷிவா கோரஸ்வனா ஷிவா ஷிவா அண்ட் ஷிவா போத் ஆர் ஆக்சுவலி ஜெகால் ஆர் ஃபாக்ஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் பரியாயவாச்சி சப்தா ஃபார் ஜம்பூகா so shivaha or shiva here because it is uh, uh, addressing shurpanaka he uses this sri linga padam so shiva ghorasvana she had a very terrible swana sound like that of a female jackal tam shrutva after hearing her who had a sound which was very ghoram like a shiva uh, jam, uh, jackal vikrita மஞ்சுவாதினிவத்துலாஷினோ Manju, Madhura, Kala, these are all uh, words for uh, sweet. Paschat, Tadanu, immediately after that, Shiva Ghoraswana, Srigali Vatu. You can also have Shakara for this. You can also have Sa. Shiva, Sha can also come for this. Srigalaha, hmm? Srigali or Srigali. Srigali Vatu, Vikrita Swaram Tam Shrutva. After hearing her Swara voice, which was vikrita completely changed like a jackal sa uh, uh, vikrita iti mayavini iti bubudhe he understood so budh datoho litlakaraha bubudhe iti prathamam kokila swaram first she had a sound like a kokila paschat bhairava swanam bhairava is not a dog don't take it as that bhairava but bhairava is more like a terrible sound okay so bhairava swanam tam uh, shurpanakam lakshmanaha mayavinim avagatavan do you understand the difference here it says vikrita iti bubudhe if you don't use iti then you will have to put that word in dvitiya vibhakti vikritam bubudhe tam shrutva tam vikritam bubudhe he understood her to be transformed or to be a, uh, a person who can use magic mayavini or you say vikrita iti mayavini iti when you use iti iti points out to that word then it you don't need to put it in karma dvitiya uh, vibhak so lakshmanaha prathamam shrutva kokila manjuvadini shiva ghorasvanam paschat vikriteti பச்சாத் புபுதே விகிருத்தேதி தாம் ஹோரஹாச்சிவாவது எஸ்யாஹாசோரஸ்வனாஸ் இட் இஸ் அன் அட்ஜெக்டிவ் டு ஷூர்பணகாலாமிப்ரம் விகிருஷ்டாசி பிரவிஷ்ய சக வைரூப்பிய பௌனருக்தேன பீஷணாம் தாம் அயோஜயத் so ba lakshmana as soon as he knew that she was a mayavi he immediately entered into the uh, parnashala the um uh, the kudse leya the hut ha parnashalam atha kshipram atha immediately saha lakshmana from the earlier shloka saha vikrishta asihi விகிருஷ்ட அசிஹி எஸ்யசா சோ ஒன் ஹூ ஹேட் இமீடியட்லி புல்ட் அவுட் வித் ட்ரான் ஸ்வோர்ட் சோ ஹி புல்ட் அவுட் ஹிஸ் ஸ்வோர்ட் அசிஹி இஸ் ஸ்வோர்ட் அண்ட் விகிருஷ்ட இஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி டேக்கன் இட் அவுட் ஆஃப் த ஸ்கேபர்ட் த த கவர் இல்லையா சோ விகிருஷ்ட அசிஹி சக லக்ஷ்மண கிரிப்ரம் இமீடியட்லி பர்ணசாலாம் பிரவிஷ்ய ஹி என்டர்ட் த பர்ணசாலா த ஆசிரம அண்ட் பீஷணாம் தாம் வைரூப்பிய பௌனருக்தியன அயோஜயத் அக்லி தட்ஸ் த ஐடியா ஹியர் பட் த லிட்ரல் மீனிங் ஆஃப் த வேர்ட்ஸ் ஆர் சச் தட் ஹி மேட் ஹர் 
connected with ayojayat she was already very terrible to look at and so he uh, made a repeat uh, um, a repetition of vairupyam of ugliness to her he gave her a second ugliness uh, he attached a, a, a repetition of ugliness vairupya paunaruktyena bhishanam tam ayojayat he attached to her form to her terrible form a, a, a repetition of ugliness that is he made her more ugly than what she was before that is she became double ugly pauna punarukti punarukte he bhavah paunaruktyam that is you are saying it again so, so, saying something again is actually a dosha vairupyam here is virupasya bhavah vairupyam ugliness ug, the repetition of ugliness in the sense that she was already a virupa and he made this vairupyam occur to her twice by uh, cutting off her nose and uh, uh, ears is that clear tam ayojayat so atha saha lakshmanah vikrishta asihi koshat udhrita kadgah sann koshah is the sheath of the uh, uh, sword so koshat udhrita kadgah sann uh, uh, being a person who had removed the uh, uh, sword from its sheath khipram immediately satvaram parnashalam pravishya entering that ashrama or the parnashala the cottage um yeah bhishanam bhikara aakaram tam rakshasi rakshasi who had a form which was bhikara which was very fearful which gave fear to everyone tam vairupya paunaruktyena vairupyasya dvaigunyena ayojayat yojitavan so he attached a double ugliness to her form lakshmana satvaram immediately koshat khadgam akrishya removing the khadga uh, uh, sword from its sheath parnashalam pravishya swataha vikrita aakaram tam uh, who was already by her own uh, she was completely transformed and into an ugly form form tam rakshasi karna nasadi chedena karnau and nasa he cut those two ativa vikritam akarot he made her even more ugly that clear hmm? punarukte he bhavah paunaruktyam virupasya bhavah vairupyam virupasya paunaruktyam virupa paunaruktyam i think others rest are all easy um ಪರ್ಣಶಾಲಾಂ ಅಥ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ರಂ ವಿಕೃಷ್ಟಾಸಿ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯ ಸಹ ವೈರೂಪ್ಯ ಪೌನರುಕ್ತೇನ ಭೀಷಣ ತಾಂ ಅಯೋಜಯತ್ ಸ ವಕ್ರ ನಖ ನಖ ಧಾರಿಣ್ಯ ವೇಣು ಕರ್ಕಶ ಪರ್ವಯ ಅಂಕುಶಾಕಾರ ಅಂಗುಲ್ಯ ತೌ ಅತರ್ಜಯತ್ ಅಂಬರೆ ಶಿ ಥ್ರೆಟೆಂಡ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ತೌ ಇ ರಾಮಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ you can also take it as I, i think it is more to do with rama and lakshmana because they both rejected her in a very uh, comic fashion maithili started laughing uh, so she first wanted to attack those two only when she found that khara and dushana could not uh, defeat and instead they all died it was after that that she decided to uh, uh, tell about sita to ravana until then her her uh, point was if her brothers had defeated rama or lakshmana one of them can become again her husband or something like that you know she might have probably thought like that that is that's why she first threatened those two so sa with her anguli with her uh, finger angulya tau ambare atarjayat she immediately went to the akasham ambare and achar atarjayat she Uh, threatened them with her uh, finger and how was that finger vakra nakha dharinya it had a uh, curved uh, nakha curved nail 
Venu Karkasha Parvaya, the, the finger also had Parva. Parva are these nodes that we have in our finger. If, if you see, you will have lines and joints. Joints are called kar, uh, Parva. The joints in our finger, joints in a, a Venu. Venu is a bamboo. And in the bamboo also you will find at particular intervals you will have a node. So that node is also called Parva. So Venuvatu, just as how in a bamboo, you have those nodes which are Karkasha. Karkasha is uh, uh, rough. That is, as you go uh, 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 softly, if you, you know, uh, uh, touch the bamboo, it will be very soft. But when it when you reach that node, there is a bump there and it is very rough also. That node is not a soft node there. It is a very rough portion. In the same way, as you go over the, our finger, you will find that that knot or that joint gives a little bump to our uh, uh, as we as we uh, try to move to the fingertip. Imagine she has a shurpanakha. She has long nails and uh, she has a very huge form. So the nodes in her fingers would also be very uh, big uh, and so very rough. So Venuvatu, just like a bamboo, she, the finger had nodes that were very rough. Ankusha Akaraya, it was also looking, uh, it had the form of an Ankusha. Ankusha is the prod that an elephant mahot uses for an elephant to prod it. Ambayaha api pashankusha vartete, right? Ragaswarupa pashadya krodha kara ankusha jala. Krodha kara ankusha. Krodham is always like an ankusha which drives us to do bad things. So when we think of uh, our, uh, the uh, um, ankusham that is there in the hands of uh, Amba, Think of it as our krodham that we have given it to her. You know, krodha akara ankusha ujjala. She has an ankusham which is in the form of a krodham. It is also a reflection of how she uses that as a weapon when she is very angry towards asuras. But then if, uh, if we, when we are doing, uh, you know, when we are uh, saying Lalta Sasnamam, if we talk of all of our enemies, as present or given it, surrendered it to Ambar, then we may not have those in our mind, right? That is why we say Ragas Swarupa Pashadya. Pasham is like a whip which controls, which, which pulls people. The same way Ragam is also something that attracts us towards the objects in the world. That is why if we give it off to her in the form of that weapon, then we will be devoid of Raga or uh, uh, Krodha, etc. Uh, so, Ankusha Akara Angulya, with an Anguli, with her finger, which was resembling that prod uh, uh, with which a Mahot restrains people, uh, the elephants. She, uh, Atarjayatu, she threatened Rama and Lakshmana. Is that clear? Any doubts? Okay. Sa Rakshasi. Vakra Nakha Dharinya, Vakra Nakha Vatya, one who had, but the finger which had a curved uh, um, nail, Vak, Venu Karkasha par, Parvaya, Venu Vatu like a bamboo, Karkasha Parvadharinya, the finger also had rough uh, uh, nodes, Ankusha Akaraya, Ankusha Syakara Vatu, Akara Vatya, Angulya, with a finger which was, uh, which had a form that was resembling the form of an Ankusha. Tau Rama Lakshmanau, Ambare Akashe Sthitasati, as she was standing in the Akasham, Atarjayate Abhatsayat, she threatened them. So Virupita Shurpanaka Utpatya, she flew, uh, Gagane Sthitasati, and standing on the, in the Akasham, Tau Rama Lakshmanau, Tarjitavati, she threatened both Rama and Lakshmana. With what? Vakra Nakhaya, Venuvat Karkasha Parvataya, Parvaya, Atayeva Ankusha Akaraya Angulya. So it looked like an Ankusha. Is that clear? Okay. Ankusha Akaraya. I think most of the uh, um, some of the Vigraha Vakyams are also very easy here. You have Karmadharaya because it is an adjective to the Anguli. So Vakraha Chate Nakaha Vakranakaha. Then Vakram. Uh, 
nakam dhartum shilam you can change it to this vakra nakhan because you have already done that you vakra nakhan dhartum shilam asyaha iti vakra nak dharini venuvat karkashani venu karkasha parvaya venu karkashani parvani parvani ah par parva parvani parvani ila shouldn't it be dirgha parvanna shabda ah oh, yes yes hmm hmm yeah yes yahasa ankusha syakara ivakara ha yes yahasa okay all of these are uh, bahubrihi here okay sa vakra nak dharinya venu karkasha parvaya ankusha akara angulya tau atarjayat ambare uh, from the next is uh, karadushana story then we'll do that next class okay vagartha vivasamprakto vagartha pratipatte jagatav pitaro vande parvati parameshwara